as I was figuring this out, this certain way of what really I want to be, and what I can be, and what my life can be, I kind of stumbled upon it, and I'm not sure how it came about, but I recognized that as we were defining the scope of the projects, the type, the very specific things that, that are fully enjoyable, that, that I've always been interested in and engaged in, that if I picked a number, an arbitrary number, and said, this is all I could do in, at the time it was, a, I don't know, a, a 15 or 12 to 15 year window, knowing, knowing that the only way that I would be happy would be in the field, doing the work, being involved. I knew a number of years ago that there's a limited amount of time for that. Just physically, uh, just physical alone, there's, there's a point in time where you can't do what you've done. And you've got to start making a change. Well, having recognized that, I remember having a discussion with my brother Rick, who was working with me at the time. And I was saying, you know, I've been thinking about this, that, is, that I have this many years left, I, realistically, to do this type of work. And started thinking about, so how many more projects would that be? And I picked a number based on what I thought, and Rick was the one that pointed out to me. He said, he said, I think it's less than that because the projects are escalating. They're getting bigger, not smaller. So you're not likely to do more per year. You're likely to do less number of projects per year. And when we pinned that down and said, I have this many projects left in my career, it changed everything. Because now it wasn't this sometime somewhere in the future along the way I'll decide to be done with this thing that I'm doing. Instead it was I have the power to make the decision because I'm loving this. I can make the decision to do what I want moving into the future and I can build a company around that. And when we landed on that number and started counting back from that number, that created this, this sense of freedom. It also created this sense of it's easy to say no when you only have a, have a limited supply to give away. And I think that's something that's been used very effective when we're not sure about a project. Something doesn't feel right or there's something that I'm struggling with. It's easy to say, would I really want that to be my number 43? Would I really want that to be, you know, one of my last projects? And that's clear allowed me to clearly define who I want to work with and when I say I it's really the company but for me I know that I have this many left and that's it and I'm done that's created a lot of power in my life because now I can decide which one I want and I can decide who has that Al Curtis original who has that one of those last projects that my that my career uh, legacy was built on and for me that was a real powerful place to, to put the construction business because it wasn't some arbitrary number of let's just keep throwing them against the wall and hoping that some would stick and we'll just go on and on and on instead it was a defined this is how much more I can do and after that it doesn't matter we have we have so many opportunities there's all kinds of stuff I could do at that point and that's the first question people say to me well what are you going to do afterwards doesn't matter it's okay I'm in control of what I do now and I want to do the work that I love to do